to the rear. Okay. There it is. Uh, hey, you choose one from guy here. And today, um, Felix, um, Baumgartner, Baumgartner, whatever his name is, you can see it, um, just there on the screen. Um, he's jumping from the amount of feet, that figure up there, just keep watching that figure. Um, it's uh, roughly 23 miles, 23, uh, 24 miles. He'll be jumping from there and he'll be attempting to beat the sound barrier to 690 mile an hour and within about, uh, within about 40 seconds of uh, going off. Cause the okay. He's about to jump. Yep, see, bottom screen now, skydive speed attempt. You can just read everything on the screen. Your shoot's okay, Felix. I say it again. Item 31, your shoot integrity is checked. Your parachutes are not deployed. Item 32, verify cutaway knife handle strap is attached. A knife in proper position. Say Roger if it's so. Roger. Okay, chest pack face plate heat is on. Make certain that it's on and you got a red light. Let's just hope he doesn't die. This could be a world record breaking day. This could be a record breaking day. It could be a sight to see. That looks. That doesn't really look like the Earth. You can just see like. The white bits. And he's jumped! World record. Highest jump ever. with me here what about that i mean i was feeling a bit dizzy looking down but how's uh, how's it going so far now uh, felix has now just gone supersonic this is the moment that felix has broken the sound barrier he'll have uh, he'll stay supersonic for about 20 seconds and then he'll start beginning to feel the earth's atmosphere uh, yep, no one see. knows what effect this will have on him so now. it'll be all ears at mission control you can see looks of concern and anxiety. He, he appears to be spinning a little bit in that last picture, which obviously is a sign of... He is spinning. Oh. That, that is a worry. Hence the anxious faces. Look to see if the drone parachute uh, comes out. 
Felix is spinning. Ah, now he's stabilising a bit there, which is that's right. Fantastic. If Felix did spin out of control and to an extent that it was a danger, the drogue parachute would come out and uh, set him straight. By now he should start slowing down. And now he's back in familiar territory. So you think he'll have reached around about 690 miles an hour. Mach 1 breaking the speed of sound. Now that, that's a critical moment. Felix is back in familiar territory. There is friends, family. His mum and dad are there, his girlfriends are there. They obviously feel girlfriends? Felix Plural? has passed the word now. One girlfriend? The only thing to wait for is that no one has fallen faster than Felix has fallen. Uh, will his shoot work? That's the moment that we've been waiting for. We won't know that for another three minutes. The, the free fall time is estimated to be five and a half minutes. Let's see what Joe is saying. So two minutes. Uh, keep talking, Felix. Keep talking. So can't quite make that out. But reassuring to hear his voice, and you can see how he's in control there. That's showing you the supply of oxygen in his oxygen lungs. Yes, Felix, I hear you. Go ahead, Roger. Go ahead. Go ahead, Felix, I hear you. Go ahead. unhappy about he's worried about not being stable there are some concerned expressions on his face uh, on the faces of people at mission control um, what we're waiting for is the shoot to deploy I think Joe is telling him not far to go Felix not far to go they couldn't deploy it for him could they no, there's an automatic reserve shoot which will deploy if uh, Felix doesn't deploy the shoot himself but just look at that clock we're waiting to see what happens at five minutes and 30 seconds after that we all hope it'll be plain sailing but uh, anxious moments until that happens there's the oh. shoot there's the shoot five so minutes 30 shoot. seconds should have been that's because felix was feeling a little bit uncomfortable right. but only only 20 seconds earlier than, than you were saying so in that sense he's, he's pretty much according to, to the scheme of things. And we heard the cheers at Mission Control. Yeah. Um, obviously, parachuting isn't entirely safe, but considering what he's done, he's overcome the major obstacles. It looks like Felix Baumgartner is set to, to break four world records, the highest balloonist, the longest free fall, the furthest free fall, and these records have to be checked. He, we expect that he's broken the sound barrier. Extraordinary. Let's just see he if they're bound, back in me. communication mm -hmm. again now. There's, There's the wind out, out of the north now. at 5 to 10. Out of the north Under at 5 canopy. to 10. And you can contact Floating Mike Todd safely. on this frequency. Give Mike Floating Todd a call. safely down Over. to Earth. There's... Ava Baumgartner. Felix, the wind's out of the north, 5 to 10. Give my God a call. Tears of joy over. from Mission Control. His mother was in tears a few moments ago. It'll be tears of joy in another couple of minutes, I hope. Can you imagine what she's feeling? Obviously, she looks relieved, but I'm mm. sure she's extremely proud. Mm. So we're, we're now at 6,000 feet. So 6,000 feet is uh, really well, well on the way to completing this. He's task. nearly home. You yeah. can see from the look on his face that uh, the worst he'll get, fingers crossed, is a twisted ankle at this stage. But uh, Ava, 
Hel was very anxious about this. She's had a son that was a base jumper, has been doing this all his life, but this was different. You know, so many things could have gone wrong. But now, having lived through this for a few years, you can you, you saw the relief oh, out of it. And these pictures now, of course, on, on great quality, and it <laughs> just looks serene sailing, doesn't it? This is the moment that Felix has worked. Let's listen to the conversation. And Joe Kitt, um, a partner in all this, must be a very proud man as well. He is. He's like a father to Felix. They've been on this journey for more than five years. And uh, that level of class now. They're actually quite different people. Um, Joe Kittinger was a test pilot, uh, a military man. He was about to land, actually. was a young base jumper, quite different characters. But uh, they've got one thing in common, being prepared to take this kind of risk. Look at Felix there, just sailing through the air. Let's, let's uh, listen into the because the, I just think the audio quality will be improving every uh, every foot that he's dropping. Just 5,000 feet now, so really... All right, maybe not. I thought, it was, I thought it was like 10 feet off the ground, but no. Hey, don't come clear again. Don't come fucking clear. So Felix is steering himself to the designated landing site. This area was chosen because uh, of uh, the, the lack of buildings, the open space. Helicopters are are on their way to that site. Uh, they'll check him out, pick him up, and then bring him back to mission control for what will presumably be a, a hero's welcome. Hey, Felix, the wind is coming from the ridge. The wind is coming from the ridge. No, towards the ridge, sorry. The wind is coming towards the ridge. Red Bull status program telling him the wind coming from the direction of that ridge I was talking about. His feet look like two feet off the ground. See what the helicopter is there, yes. So he certainly got the highest jump mark that he was after. As he's we'll going down the last long. few hundred feet. Is this one of the most one of the most extraordinary things I've seen? Is, is it one of the most extraordinary Achievements, personal endeavors. And he's about to hit the ground. I, I certainly have. Whoa! Uh, he's touched down. Look at those seeds. 